Hi. How does PRP benefit us? And how can we get its benefit in a prolonged manner for a very, very long time? So, we'll talk about that. I'm Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. A's Clinic, Delhi, India. So, all of you must have heard or you must have experienced that if you are having a lot of hair fall, then if you get a platelet-rich plasma in form of injections, then it helps stop the hair fall and it also improves the condition of the hair, thickens the hair. But have you ever thought why this happens and if you understand why it happens, can you improve upon it, build upon it and how can you get it for life? After all, you can't keep on going back and back for PRP every month for the rest of your life. So let's understand PRP. See PRP or platelet rich plasma, how did the scientists come to think about it? There were reports of uh, old actors getting transfusion of young people from the blood. So those blood transfusion of young people used to make the actors noticeably better, their skin, their hair, their ailments in general. So this led the scientists to think that there must be something in the blood which uh, improves the general body condition. So that is where they identified the growth factors. So in PRP, what uh, the aim was initially to take out blood so that we can concentrate the platelets and the growth factors and then inject these growth factors into the joint because this was first done by orthopedicians. So they put it by injection into the joint because there was no other way to do it. Then came dentists, they put it into wounds where which were not healing. But then we came to the scalp. Now, on the scalp, it's good that you get a PRP done. But imagine if your blood quality was better, wouldn't the PRP be better? So that is where it is important that when you are getting the PRP, request your doctor to let you see the tube. Because here you, I'll show you a couple of tubes. Now this tube, if you see, the plasma is clear. Also, you can read this uh, blood. The red part of that uh, blood should be 45% and the clear part should be 55%. If the red part is too less, then also there is a deficiency, iron deficiency also. And then if the upper part, the plasma part, if that is hazy, that means you are living a life, bad lifestyle or maybe bad eating habits, especially bad oil. Now, look at this plasma and then you will be able to see, imagine if this is going all over your body inside to all the stem cells, this is not the ideal thing to give them. This is not the ideal thing which should be their environment. So, improve your lifestyle also, improve your diet also. You can't imagine the body will make growth factors if you just keep on eating junk food, pizza, burgers and coke. Rather than that, if you are taking healthy food, walnuts, broccoli, tomato, mushroom, berries and all these things, they will actually improve your growth factor concentration and that will improve your PRP results also. So one thing is that improve your lifestyle, that is where the hair care process comes in. That's a simple 5-6 steps which I have tabulated, which you can include in your lifestyle. So as to give your stem cells a good fighting chance, right? So the next step is how to maximize the effects of PRP and how to retain, how to keep on getting these benefits for the rest of your life. Because the growth factors which are present in the PRP solution, they will last only for a few days, maybe one or two weeks also. If your body doesn't need that much, if your hair doesn't need that much uh, growth factors to repair themselves. But imagine, if you were to be able to get it on a regular basis for the rest of your life. So let's think how we can do that. We can do that with a derma roller or a derma pen or a derma stamp. Why do I say that? Because 
when we use a derma roller now here i must say most people use the derma roller in a incorrect manner you are not just supposed to feel the needles you are supposed to push them deep enough so that there is pin point bleeding i recommend at least 1 mm length needle in the derma roller no half millimeter at least 1 mm and if your skin is very thick and there is no pin point bleeding then do 1.25 mm also now when you use a derma roller or a derma pen and you notice pin point bleeding so what is happening this is something which was taught to everyone in a biology class in school when there is any cut any spot of injury any pin point prick then the body will send platelets and growth factors to heal the area those growth factors are coming to repair the area so when i ask you to use the derma roller in this manner press it properly if it is hurting too much use a numbing cream it's not difficult press it properly move it back and forth in the correct manner and have pin point bleeding that will assure that you get benefits similar to prp every time you do it and do it once every week use it on wet hair do not break your hair do not uh, remove your hair with the derma roller using it in the correct manner will help you that your skin gets only those pin point bleeding points so what will happen the body will get a signal that there is something wrong here i need to send everything all my resources to repair it and when it comes there it will find the stem cells in of your hair follicles and they are what you notice they improve a lot the hair fall stops immediately by immediately i mean a couple of days at least and then your hair start becoming thicker also when you do this on a regular basis